Whenever the game spawns you in, at least for me, it spawns you like two parking spaces away from your actual car. So, uh, I don't know what the uh, in-game explanation for that is. Maybe we pass out and then some rowdy teens pull a bit of a prank on us. A bit of, it's just, it's just a, it's just a prank, bro. Bro, it's just a prank. There's like some, some sad piano music in the background. Not sure if you can hear that. So while our other planet system was a, like a green, I don't remember. This one's kind of like a Baja Blast. Bit of a Baja Blast hue, you know? Uh, we got some ships here. Let's, are they friendly? I shouldn't ask uh, if they're friendly. What I should ask, the, 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 correct, the correct question is, uh, are they interactable at all? Do they do anything? Are we gonna collide with them? Oh yeah, okay. We actually take a tumble. Okay, we landed at a gas station in another system, which is the equivalent of like an American going to Japan and realizing they have 7-Elevens over there too. Are they gonna sell all the same crap? Let's find out. Uh, so far, it looks exactly the same. I startle the electronic life form from its work. It greets me politely, but when it sees my bolt caster, it starts to vibrate with fear. The entity's voice quavers, and its mask slowly turns into a single dilated red light. It clearly wants to get back to its research work, but is too terrified to take its gaze away from me. The more I try to calm it, the more the poor thing convulses with fear. And we just kind of looking for the bathroom key. We got a phase beam, it's a spacecraft laser device, and, okay, so these guys are super, uh, shy, they just don't talk to them and everything's fine. Somebody make a mod where, as we're flying, we just see, like, bugs splattering against the windshield, and then, and our windscreen wipers just come up and get stuck, and then we have to spray the, the cleaning fluid, and... And then maybe a hand reaches out from the side of the window and, 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 and fixes it, just nudges it back, back down. Ah, Jesus Christ. It was like that when I found it. Uh, I hope... A thermal protection falling. Can I cut this open like a tauntaun and recreate... A very, uh, a very iconic scene from Star Wars, hmm? Is that, uh, is that a thing we can do, or no? Eh, nothing? It's nothing. Guess what? This giant pillar of, uh, red material? Uh, you can't mine that. Holy shit, there's just stuff hanging out. Is that normal? That's what animals do, right? They just kind of, like, walk around outside your house. All aliens, uh, they have the same brand, make, and model of floodlights. Uh, there's, there's no variation. There isn't, like, one whimsical alien species that uses, uh, Christmas tree lights. That's not a thing. Okay, so we have to break into this research facility, is what's happening. There isn't, like, an internet website where we can look up the, the recipe for antimatter. We really have to, uh... Somewhere below my feet, I hear the endless churn of automated machinery performing unknown tasks for unknown masters. Here's like the copy room in the basement. A screen flickers into life and letters stamp themselves across it. Nada, nada, escape, Atlas, find us, nada, nada. And then a formula is displayed, how to make my own antimatter. Take antimatter formula. With this knowledge, I can create warp cells, the final puzzle piece. I can now travel anywhere I please, or should I follow... Okay. What kind of bird is this? Okay, it's an underwater monolith. Hopefully we have enough oxygen to uh, 
solve whatever brainy puzzle this has. Brilliant light erupts from the ancient disco ball. It encircles me, engulfing my mind with the memories and voices of the Korvax echoes. The dreams of entities who once worshipped here become my own. The Atlas interfaces drift alone in the endless void. They are silent. They are unknowable. We're really poetic. The way we describe these things, I'd be like, dude, it's a fucking ball. Dude, it's a big underwater ball. They are unknowable fragments of an ancient whole. We are poets. Yet their imprint on time and space molds our existence. They are the equation and life is its answer. Though they're monoliths, they, through their monoliths, they give us understanding to their boundless meaning and that of our own. Seek help with language. My knowledge of the Corvax convergence increases. Okay. Useful, I suppose? You ever been driving in the car with your mom and she pulls into a parking spot and she tells you to open the door and check to see if she's inside the lines? Uh, I need a kid, I guess, to, to look out the side and tell me if I'm inside the lines because this is a bad park job. Somebody would have come across and written asshole in, in the dust on my windshield. Mm, look at the beautiful straight lines of that water texture. Beautiful. Okay, we got a base. This time it spawned in what looks like the ocean. This guy's got a bit of a leak going on. Uh, they did not account for high tide, I guess. It looked like a wound on the world, crimson and ragged edged, like something that once lived but then was torn asunder and no longer lived. I should have stayed away had I the senses to taste the air of this planet. I imagine it would have reeked with some kind of alien fedor, which... I guess it means like farts or something, but nothing could stall my curiosity. Was it dead? Where I touched it, the surface was moist and yielding. I mean, we are underwater, so that uh, makes sense. It seems to become mobile, motile, then crawling on a mat of slow cilia moving from me. I should have left it alone. Okay, analyze data log. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log, then something has been left. New technology discovered, radiation deflector theta. Shit, almost, almost drowned to death. Better uh, quickly discover a tree. Shit, guys, you know, you know what I just realized? I did get kind of a, this is kind of a big get for a small channel like this. I did get a corporate sponsorship. Uh, by a company you might have heard of. It's actually the Coca-Cola company is sponsoring this video and the rest of my life in general. So uh, part of the deal was I had to incorporate their their brand subtly into the uh, into the into the video. I don't know if you might have heard me sipping on a beverage, uh, a fizzy, refreshing um, elixir to rejuvenate the soul and my taste buds that that was um classic coke actually and uh you know i just had to find find, find ways to uh to kind of subtly work it into into to what you're watching kind of like how you know in the toby Maguire spider-man movie he practices web slinging on a can of dr pepper for instance so um uh yeah i just wanted to be up front with you guys and and uh kind of do that now if, if i could so so we landed on planet uh m can but i think uh the frigid cold lakes uh the refreshing atmosphere it kind of kind of reminded me of the polar bears uh that you see around christmas time what are the polar bears like they like coca-cola so we're gonna rename this planet Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. This is their current 2016 uh, marketing slogan. I kind of have a little dossier I'm referencing here, but yeah, that'll be the planet's name. Now on Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. We have a lot of uh, a lot of creatures who, man, they love Coke. The refreshing taste of Coke. Who, who can resist? Uh, but all these creatures, you know, much like God's creatures, they're they're products of God. These are products of the Coke company. These are Coke products. We got a good old-fashioned 
Coke Classic, the original. For the kids, a bit of Cherry Coke. Remember when Cherry Coke had the uh, the can, the can designs that were like graffiti. It was very like late eighties, early nineties, like grungy Coke. And now Cherry Coke is like suave and sophisticated. Just a little. Uh, that's not a critique, by the way, Coca Cola. That's more of a. I'm just a. Sorry, my opinion doesn't matter here. Uh, these little guys, look at them. Kind of look like a like a bottle opener. That little beak there kind of looks like it'd be perfect to crack open a glass bottle of the very refreshing, made with all natural cane sugar and uh, probably stevia or some other artificial sweetener that gives it cancer or some bullshit. I don't know. I mean, uh, we're going to call this one Coca-Cola Life. Coca-Cola Life is a lower calorie version of Coca-Cola using stevia and sugar as sweeteners. It has 27 kilocalories, containing 60% of the calories of a regular Coca-Cola. Okay, so I guess it's not made with cane sugar, but, uh... You know, what in life is. Some, most most things. Some, a, lot, a lot of stuff, actually. What is this, like a sea cucumber? You know, Coke offers a lot more than just uh, refreshing, fizzy beverages like soda and pop and soda pop they also make uh did you know this dasani the water of life dasani is is, is a coke product this guy's got a weird head his gender is prime his temperament is unconcerned he sounds like a chill dude he sounds like a cool dude Sounds like the kind of dude I'd want to hang out with. He reminds me of a very smooth, very nice vanilla Coke. Kind of hard to find in like a two liter these days. A lot of bodegas have them in the uh, the little bottles and the, uh, the cans. Uh, not a lot of appreciation for the vanilla Coke. Uh, I do, though. Let's see. This tree can be uh, Coke Zero. This plant can be a uh, great, great, great Fanta, because Fanta is a Coke product. I mean, this is the Coca-Cola planet, so maybe everything living on this uh, should have been named after Coke products, and then I could have done the other planets different uh, Coke beverages, but I didn't think about that ahead of time. I'm going to rename Plains of Naxon, Plains of Refreshment. The Idgoist Woodland, uh, that can be the Coke Polar Bear Chill Zone. The official Coke Rock, and it's like fun. That wasn't a typo with the with the capitalization. This is just a fun rock. Just kidding. It's driving me crazy. And these two things, you know what? They're fucking ugly. They don't get to be named after Coke products. The draw distance and textures in this game are kind of bad. Does this look like a very next-gen game to you? Uh, look at that coastline. That is a sharp coastline. All right, so we died in space because some pirates wanted to kick our asses for the two pounds of gold we were carrying. I don't know how they found out we had that. This dude didn't do shit to help us. He's sitting here swiping left and right on Tinder. And we died, but at least we got to read a, a shitty quote by Ursula somebody, right? Right, dude? Are these the punks that, that robbed us landing in this space station? They see us, they just beat us up. I hate you guys, I hate you guys so much. Okay, so basically, to craft warp fuel, this is what we need to do. We need antimatter plus thamium-9. Thamium-9, easy to get. Antimatter is right there. To craft antimatter, 
we need electron vapor, iridium, and zinc. Electron vapor we get by crafting with suspension fluid and plutonium. So we have to buy suspension fluid to craft the electron vapor. Then we have to craft the antimatter with the electron vapor, iridium, and zinc. Then we have to take the antimatter and craft that with thamium-9 to make a warp cell. Or they could have just had all the individual elements of those other two things, the antimatter and the vapor, just be on one list for the warp cell, because now we're just clicking once, twice, three times to get to the warp cell. If we have everything, it's just artificially extending the crafting process, which is very shallow. Because there's only like 10 elements, it's uh, it's not that, not that great. Anyways guys, that's where we'll call this episode. Feeling a little disheartened because our old Jetson sedan got got beat up, got wrecked. Uh, we lost all of our gold, all of our pirate booty, and there goes our our future ride into into the distance. Uh, so yeah, next time I guess we'll craft vapor or some shit. Is this a game? Is this is a fun game, right? <laughs> okay, uh, we'll see ya. Uh, enjoy coke.